Alright everybody, welcome to the official 2.8.1 RLCraft server tutorial. This one's not going to be scouted as I had the resolution fixed on my screen. So it's not going to be like the last one with all the weird edits, it's just going to be one straight through cut. So, there's a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to go ahead and need this Forge 1.12.2 version 14.23.5.2838 uh, installer. Uh, that Windows that .exe, especially if you're on Windows, this is what you're going to want to use. Uh, Mac might be a little bit different according to uh, specific, uh, I guess, Mac guidelines. And then you're going to need the RLCraft uh, server pack for 12.2.2 or 1.12.2. Sorry, my bad. Basically, what you're going to do is just run this and then you're going to install client or install server, my bad. And you're going to redirect the directory to your desktop and the RLCraft 2.8.1 server just go ahead and hit open in there and hit OK and it'll run this little line and patch of uh, library set of downloads and you're just gonna wait a little bit and you'll see that it's unpacking all the files that it needs in order for it to run and um, that's not gonna be a problem so all these downloads are gonna be in the description so I'm not gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna show you how to get there because uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory especially if I give you the direct link to the download and then you're just going to open up this RLCraft server pack and just go ahead and drag and drop this in there just like that it's a pretty simple process there's not much to it and then what you're going to want to do is read four servers only and just sit here and you're definitely going to want to uh, run these commands as well uh, I'll go ahead and go through this though so those going to be set in server properties.txt which won't spawn until you run this for the first time so basically to do this all you have to do is search up minecraft bat start command and go to the setting up a server tutorial and scroll down to where you find this Oop, this right here and go ahead and copy that and make a new text document and you're just going to name it run.bat and hit yes and go ahead and edit it and paste this in here and then in order for it to work you need this right here this forge 1.12.283 universal to be renamed to minecraft uh, jar and just go ahead and name this minecraft jar just like that and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 4 gigs of RAM into my server you can choose whatever you want uh, I usually recommend anywhere from 3 to 5 gigs. Anything more is nice as well. And just save. And then all you have to do is just run it. And you'll see it takes a minute and it'll start loading up your 64 bit server uh, VM and load up the server. And I will be back with you when it's all loaded up. Oh, well, I guess I don't really have to do that because it's going to say that you failed to uh, load EULA and you need to agree to it. So just go out and then click in eula.txt and hit or type in I suppose true and save and then run your server again. Now it should all run through smoothly and I will be back when it's all finished. Okay so my server is done loading. You can see this by if I scroll up a little bit it says uh, it's got to prepare the spawn area and got to keep going. It says done in 11 seconds. Uh, type help or question mark for command help and whatnot. And that's how you know it's done. So let's go ahead and type in stop. Oh my bad. Just type in stop. And it's going to save the world. And you're going to press any key and it's going to uh, uh, not delete but close out of that uh, exe file. Then all you have to do is go to four servers only and just take a look through this. And it's going to say set these in your server property file, which is pretty easy. You just gotta do this and then have this here. I wanna go ahead and change mine to Cyvex tutorial. Uh, set the view distance down to six. I wanna go ahead and set it to five. I like it a little bit shorter. Uh, max tick time to negative one so that way it doesn't crash out when big structures generate. Um, uh, difficulty needs to be three because obviously it's hardcore. Uh, enable flight needs to be true. Uh, because obviously you're going to be riding around on uh, different mobs 
And then I also set command block to true for server owners in case you want to install command blocks and do commands on your computer or on your server. And then my max players I usually have is 12 because that's just a really nice number for um, RLcraft. So then you're going to want to save this. And we're going to go ahead and get into um, SpongeForge. So in order to get to SpongeForge, this will also be in the description, but I'll go ahead and just quickly run down what you do. Just type in SpongeForge uh, 1.12.2 and uh, go to Downloads. And you'll see right here it says Recommended Build. Just go ahead and download that. And it, just, it might say that I actually have a double of this because I've already downloaded this before. And then when you do that, you'll see your mods folder right here. You just want to drag and drop that into there. Oop, it might take a second. And then also while you're at it, go ahead and go to um, SpongeForge 4. Sorry, it's a little off the screen there. And go to the ore refinery and type in chunk generator. Oh, maybe that's not right. If I just type in chunk generator Minecraft plugin, sorry, and find what I believe is this one right here pre generator. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Chunk pre generator. Sorry, I, I seem to have lost the actual. The file for it. Oh, chunk pre generator right here. So it should be under Curse, Curse Forge. And just go ahead and download the most recent version. I always just click there automatically because who likes ads? They're, they're annoying. Go ahead and keep it and let that download. And then once those are both downloaded, oops, I can't seem to get this to say. Go ahead and drag them both into your mods folder. And just confirm that they're in there. Let's see, SpongeForge, yeah, that's the, the one of them because I've already downloaded it. And then Chunk Pre-Generator, yep. And go ahead and just run your server again and I will be back once again when this is all done. So as you can see here, my RLCraft is loaded and so is my server as you can see done in 6.305 uh, seconds. And I'm just gonna go to multiplayer and I already have it but I just went in and typed in localhost uh, for IPv4 forwarding, I can't give a fantastic tutorial about that, so I'll leave that up to someone else to show you. If you need help, I will link my Discord server uh, down below, so you can join that and ask me questions, but I'm sure you guys won't have any questions, and just go ahead and join the server. And it's going to log in, and you shouldn't have any issues getting in. Looks like it's having a good time over there, and nothing's broken. And I actually spawned in a very, very good spawning place. Wow. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and op myself. Op. Uh, I think my name in game is Official Shocks. And I'm going to pop up down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the server only text. First of all, I have to check if I'm at 0, zero which I probably won't be, uh, which is unfortunate. Let's see. What chunk am I on? Oh. I you can't see that. So just TP yourself to 0, 65, 0, and then it'll take, oof, I guess I was in a mountain or something. Usually you're, okay, make sure you go to, hello, where am I at? Oh, okay, yeah, I was just in a mountainous a mountain biome, which is why. So from uh, 0, 0, or I usually just do 0, 0. Um, do pr uh, these commands pregen utils so I'll keep this on the screen uh, let's just move this over a little bit uh, set priority pregenerator I'm just going to set the priority to pregen and then gen time per tick 250 Is that pregen? Whoops, my bad. Pregen time for take 250 and pregen gen start radius square from zero zero with a radius of one ten thousand 
and then it'll start setting a uh, a pre-generator so that way all the chunks can load and it's not as laggy and to go along with that um, I'm gonna go ahead and do world border world border set world border set 10,000 blocks from where I'm at in a thing of zero so that set the world border and then this is currently um, making sure that no one can go outside of the boundaries and that it's all pre-generated so that way when I uh, fly around and whatnot all this world is already pre-generated by the server and it's not going to take up too much space but anyway that is how you create an RL craft server in 2.8.1 and have it all working and I'm not sure if somebody joined or something but it's actually kind of funny that someone is still on my server uh, maybe I just didn't know that it, that's okay oh there we go there you go now so that there's no one it's just a little bit laggy but anyway uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial if you did enjoy go ahead and give this video a like uh, subscribe join my discord if you have any questions I will be answering questions there uh, it's just a lot easier than answering guys messages and until the next time see ya